Yes! Wish me luck! Let me handle this! What's this? Rush over to Imhanland and take down the Amalgam Daughters? I'm busy, so I can't be there to help. But I'm sending along a servant to accompany you on your mission. Succeed, and you will have completed your apprenticeship. Good luck! Oh, well. So, Master is not home. Wait, can he be serious? A cat? No way! Yes way. I admire your trust and servant for this journey. Now let's get going. If my graduation depends on passing this test, then what choice do I have? All right, let's go. Help! An evil witch has hijacked this train. Let me handle this. Wait, don't tell me. You are... Belle, right? What? How did you know that? Are you a psychic witch or something? Duh, you're not too bright, are you? You're wearing a name tag. Uh... Oh, I... I'm... I'm so embarrassed. And in such large font. Even a child can read it. Uh, now that the cat's out of the bag, I'm Belle, the cute and genius witch. Some genius. Have you had an IQ this lately? Shut up! Anyway, do not disturb Mother, or there will be hell to pay. I will crush you with my ginormous battleship. I summon Palindrome. My Palindrome defeated... Impossible! I'm not done yet! I have a few more inventions to unleash. Don't bother. Your resistance is futile. Now give us everything you got. I'm begging you. Hand over the drop near shard. I must have it. Ugh. Fine. Take it and be gone. So... This is a shard of the Golden Drapner Ring? It's so dazzling, isn't it? Powerful magic is sealed within. Stare too long, and it will steal your heart. That wouldn't be good! Then I'll keep it safe in my pocket. No! Mother gave me that precious treasure. You're gonna pay for this! Oh, cliché. Don't worry. We won't see her ever again. Now put that away. We have a long road ahead of us. Oh, okay. The hair on my tail is standing on end. Careful, Brill. I sense much stronger magic. Magic? You sure about that? Hey, look here. I see little girls. Welcome to our playground. Twinkle is my sister. And Star is my sister. Huh? You two are twins, right? You look so much alike. I can't tell who is who. This forest is our playground. Play with us, little kitty. No way! I hate kids! Actually, something's not right about them. What? Then you mean... <laughs> then we'll just have to catch you, Amaranth. Come out. Come out wherever you are. For us, come join the hand. Wow! With these little girls running loose, this forest is an asylum. No! This is terrible! It must be the power drop near. Hurry and take the shard away from them! Right away! Sorry, girls, but I made a promise.
news to my master. Wow! She took away the precious shard we received from mother. Not fair! S stop crying! Listen! No matter how fun it might be, you can't go around creating havoc in the forest with this magic. I can't even hear the birds singing or the crickets chirping. They're all afraid of you. Do you understand? Oh, okay, we understand. Well then, it's time for you girls to be heading home. I am sure your mother is worried sick about you. We'll play nice with everyone from now on. We'll play nice with the kitty too. Ha ha, let me pick it up. Meow? Whoa, let me go. Stop pulling my whiskers. Ouch! Okay. See you girls later. Are we really doing the right thing? Thing here? My whiskers are frozen. My tail is like a popsicle. I have no strength. It's time to return home. Hang in there just a little more. I am cold too, but I'm doing the best I can. <sighs> Welcome to my world. Would you like to get out of the cold and warm up next to the heater? Heater? What's it doing here? Never mind. It's probably best not to ask questions. Hey, not fair! Make room for me! Oh, hi! I'm Prill. Ooh, this is nice and warm! You idiot. Don't volunteer your name. What, she's an evil witch? <laughs> We're fine. An evil witch wouldn't help us get out of the cold to warm ourselves. Prill the witch, are you the one who is looking for the shards of Dropnir's golden ring? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> I figure I'd find one around here too. I see. If that's the case, then I can't help you. Now leave. Huh? Are you serious? Instead, try warming yourself by dancing a hot tangle with this. It's showtime. Apophis. No, I lost. Then I have no choice but to surrender the shard to you. Well, thank you. Are you sure I can take it? Why are you suddenly so humble after that fierce fight? Honestly, it's not humility. It's gratitude. Huh? What do you mean by that? Mother ordered me to stay here and protect this shard at all costs. Now that you have vanquished me, I'm free to do something else. I... I actually can't stand the cold. It's been torture having to stay here. This place is very much a prison. Not of steel and concrete, but of ice. Oh, really? So, I actually did you a favor by defeating you. I'm so happy to oblige. Enough with the chit-chat. Let's go somewhere warm. You'll find my sister at your next destination. I'm sure it's warmer there. Thanks! Looking forward to it. Well, we better get going. Uh, um, they're gone. I meant to tell them that their next destination isn't so much warm as it is a burning inferno. Oh, well. Oh, my! My broom is starting to burn! We're going to crash into the sea of lava! No worries. It might char, but it won't catch fire. It's fireproof. Really? But I don't 
don't remember the master saying anything like that. Uh, I, I know just as much as the master. Trust me. You guys, you made me wait forever and now you're yapping. Behold! Ah, uh, what's with you all of a sudden? Who are you anyway? Who, you ask? I am Lily Solemn, the daughter of the greatest witch, Amalgam. Not only did you beat up my little sisters, but then you made me wait. I am livid. She must possess the Drobnir shard, or should I say the shard has possessed her? Either way, take her down! Shh! I'll roast you to a crisp with my flames, until you smolder like a burnt marshmallow. I-I'm scared! A blistering wind is blowing from her direction! I'm burning! It's time to turn up the heat! I summon Grimar! Ugh! How does someone blessed with both brains and beauty lose to these peons? Look who's talking! <sighs> We've got another Dropner shard now! Huh? Look! It's sparkling again! It can't be! Who are you? Tell me your name! I'm Pril Patoli, the witch apprentice! I'm just a girl! Patoli? Does that mean your mother's name is Arlia? Whoa! How do you know her name? Do you know my mother? Huh? Now I get it. No wonder the drop near ring is reacting. What's that? Sounds important. Tell me what's going on. You'll find your answer in the path that lays before you. She talks too much. I don't like this wind at all. Oh, someone's over there. He looks like he's in pain. <sighs> so you finally made it here. Are you all right? I'm Prill, the witch apprentice. I'm collecting the Drobner shards. Whoa! Why don't you just announce it to the world? You sure have a big mouth. Well, my master taught me to always be honest. I'm Malcolm, the son of Amalgam. I look like this for a reason, but run! Just go! Escape now before the shards begin to resonate. Act not at your peril. The shards will resonate? What happens then? Hey, watch out! He's been enraptured by the power of Jopna's ring! Get away! Ah! Ah! What's going on? He's changing into a totally different person! <laughs> That's why I told you to run! Too late now! Come on out, Elixir! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Malcolm. Are you all right? Thanks. Yeah, I'm fine. You finally freed me from Dropnir's spell. I'm so glad. But how come you held on to such a dangerous thing? My mother gave it to me. I used to be frail, but the shard instilled me with vitality. But it was all an illusion. My body was just a vessel possessed by the power of the evil Dropnir. Dropnir's ring is powerful even in its pieces. That's why it made Mother so cold and... Mm. So that's what happened. Who knew this shard had such terrifying power? Huh? But if that's true... Then why am I unaffected? The master's grueling training has made you that way. 
and your mother, Elia, may have something to do with it. Your mother is Arlia. That explains why the shard didn't affect you. I needed to help my mother. She's become trapped by Drupnir's spell. I believe in you. After all, you're Arlia's daughter. M m me Um, well, I'll try, but I hope I'm not your only hope. Don't be such a coward. Now let's go. Y yes, sir. We're gonna find Obagan. Goodbye, Malcolm. You finally come to me, daughter of Arlia, my nemesis. So, you are Omegon? Hi, L let's behave ourselves, shall we? Witches don't panic. When in danger, you must first relax by grooming yourself. No way! I'm a witch, not a cat! Like mother, like daughter, you are going to pay for your insolence. Uh... I, uh, in the name of my mother, I command you to cease and desist. The drop near shard is controlling you. I'm gonna free you from its spell. Enough. Your bloodlines will forever regret revolting against me for the last two generations. Wait! What do you mean by two generations? My mother has nothing to... Uh, no, Brill, stay focused. Amalgam is coming. Reveal yourself, Draupanir, and possess me with your merciless power that has ravaged the land. No! How can such a naive little brat defeat me? You finally done it! Unbelievable! I'm still shaking! Mm. Uh, me too! Oh no! Uh, what, what is this? What have I done? On Malcolm's request, we came to save you! The spell has been broken! And you're back to your old self! I see. Malcolm put you up to this. Actually, your mother is connected to him. What? He is? Malcolm's weak because I was cursed long ago. I did everything to help him, but to no avail. So I sought help from your mother. She had been my classmate, a brilliant witch, unlike me. Arlia was very kind. She promised to find the cure for Malcolm's illness no matter what. That's why I felt so hopeless when she disappeared. I hated life. Drifting about, I lost the will to live. I ended up experimenting with the drop in your shards. Look at me now. I'm beyond despicable. Amazing! But where do you think my mother is now? I don't know. But Arlia is definitely alive. I sense it. You must promise me that you will continue to be strong, for someday you will be reunited with your mother. Y yes, ma'am. I'm glad Amalgam has returned to normal. Yeah, yeah, but I'm tired. Let's go home. I need to drink a bowl of warm milk and relax. Funny, Master loves warm milk. And you know what? You're not very cat-like. Who are you anyway? W what are you talking about? I'm not your master. <laughs> no one said you were. Stop teasing me. I really am tired. Okay. Then let's take off. Here we go. Whoa, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> <laughs>